Hi, I was asked to uh, talk about uh, deliveries on the Mac and the uh, iOS device. And it's for tracking uh, my deliveries, both incoming and outgoing, uh, with uh, FedEx, UPS, USPS, uh, pretty much all the majors. Uh, you can track Apple based on an Apple order number. You can track Amazon based on an Amazon over order number. And as you can see here uh, on the screen, I have uh, both my phone on the right side and my iPhone on the right side. And on the left side is uh, deliveries uh, on the, on the uh, Macintosh, on the Apple Mac. Uh, it's on my iMac. And uh, these are all of uh, deliveries that I have uh, both coming and going. The ones that are checkmarked have been delivered over uh, between today and I believe yesterday. I left them in here for this demonstration. Uh, you can see that like UPS uh, deliveries are done in uh, brown just like UPS. Uh, USPS uh, is blue. Amazon is uh, in yellow so all I did was I punched in an Amazon uh, order number and my uh, password and it was able to bring that up. Once again, I've got uh, more uh, USPS. Here's some uh, FedEx shipments. Uh, they're in purple, just like FedEx. And uh, these are some that are still in uh, transmit transit from USPS. And these ones here on the bottom uh, are items that uh, I dropped off at the post office today that haven't been scanned in yet. Uh, and then if we go to the iPhone, everything syncs up. If we go to the iPhone and I go to deliveries on the iPhone, you can see that all the same information is there. And if I had my iPad uh, plugged into here, that would also, uh, they would also show up on there. Uh, there's some cool features here. If I want to uh, know where uh, an item is, I can uh, click on it and uh, it shows me kind of a map and I can even view the uh, details completely online. Uh, so that's the USPS tracking for uh, that item that I just looked at. And we have the uh, same capability uh, over here. So uh, this one says that it's in Bill Gardens, which uh, isn't too far from me. And if I click on view details online, It'll bring up the USP tracking. And here's an interesting one. I dropped it off at Tarrance and it made it to Bell Gardens and never got a scan here locally at, uh, in Tarrance. And so that's okay. Uh, as long as it gets a scan, we're covered. Uh, now, if I want to add uh, a shipment into it, it's really easy to do. Uh, here's a label that I printed today. I blocked out the addresses and part of the tracking number, and but I actually have a physical label in, in front of me right now, and I have a uh, barcode scanner. So I'd click on the plus button up here. I would scan, scan it, and it puts it in there. It chooses. It knows that it's a postal service based on the tracking number already. And I'm testing, and now you'll see that it'll be in here. Uh, where is it? There it is, testing. So you'll see that it's uh, in here is testing. And if I uh, refresh this page on my iPhone, it will uh, come back up there too as testing. There it is. You can see that it's testing. And so that's how it works and it's really simple. And then when uh, something's done and I'm all done with it, I can click on it and I can click archive and it gets archived. Uh, then I can always search uh, a transaction if I want. I can uh, search anything that's archived and let's put in uh, details for my carpet spotter and it brings up uh, all kinds of uh, past orders for details that have been shipped and delivered and I can click on it and it gives me all the uh, information here. It says where it was delivered to. Uh, last updated on August 7th. There, Once again, there's the map. And uh, I may be able to use this in case of a, uh, a claim. Uh, 
for uh, item not delivered that, that's done after the uh, three month period on uh, PayPal or, or eBay. Uh, I don't know for sure if it would work, but it's something that uh, at least I do have a record showing that this particular tracking number for uh, her item. And I actually, all my labels, I uh, print all my shipping labels through uh, ShipStation and they get uh, automatically filed into a uh, folder on my desktop and it has uh, all of my my shipping labels in it. Uh, you can see that I've got tons of uh, shipping labels. They all go into the same folder and some of these go back forever. Here's some international ones uh, and they all get filed in there uh, all the time so I always have them. And that's about it. Deliveries from uh, Mac. Deliveries or delivery status. There may be uh, a couple different names depending on whether it's the app or uh, on the Macintosh. And uh, uh, it's available only on the Mac uh, and iOS devices as well. And that's it. Okay, I'm back. I know we just left, but... Uh, I know that people are going to ask me, so I wanted to uh, show that we could also uh, scan from our iOS device, iPhone, uh, iPad, or whatever. We can scan in an item from there as well. So uh, I have that same label, but I'm going to, uh, up on the upper right, I'm going to click the, uh, the plus sign, and it's going to bring this up, and I'm going to click on the little uh, barcode. Now I can enter it by hand uh, up at the top where it says enter a tracking number. I can punch it in. Uh, I could copy a, a tracking number and paste it in, uh, as I can do on the desktop version, or I can click this little uh, uh, barcode at the bottom, and it will allow me to scan. And there it scanned the item. It put the numbers in. You can see uh, you can see right here that it already cho already chose the uh, postal service. Uh, so then I'm going to. Uh, click on the US Postal Service down there and it puts it in and then again I could put in a new name uh, we'll call this one again and I can hit save and then it will become in my uh, oops it will come in my there it is again and over here I don't know if it's updated or not yet but it will update and it'll show up. Uh, I gotta go to all, let's get rid of that. There it is again. And so it's in my uh, desktop version at all. And it's that fast and you can do it from anywhere. So if you forget to put it in uh, into your desktop, into your Mac, uh, when you're at home, when you get to the post office, you still have the option to, uh, to scan it. And uh, I think that's it for now. Bye, all.